Hello world, it is Tuesday, May 11th. Another bright, sunny, shiny day. And a little warmer, still cool. It was 37 when I got up this morning and let the dogs out. But I think it's it's inching upward slowly. And I think by next, by this time next week, it's supposed to be pretty warm again. Probably turning on our air conditioning, I don't doubt. The devotion for today is entitled Think Big by Donna Shaper. And Donna bases the devotion upon Matthew chapter 10, verses 29 through 31, excerpted uh, verses from that selection from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? You are of more value than many sparrows. And Donna writes, I can't stop thinking about the giant ship stuck in the Suez Canal, the Ever Given. It gave new meaning to the Lilliputians, the little ones that have so much power. It also reminded me of God's regard for the human and the sparrow. In the Suez Canal, Big came under a kind of comic, nearly tragic surveillance. It looked fat in those clothes. The whole experience restored my sense of humor about that old line, too big for your britches. My kids often called their parents the Bigs, as in, how do you think the Bigs will, what do you think the Bigs will say if we do that? I wonder if that's what it's like for little for kids to feel so small. I love people who bend down when they talk to kids. 27,000 tons of sand were applied to lift the level of the sea so that the boat could get unstuck and get back on the way to Walmarts and Targets with its load. They failed. The big cranes failed. Instead of the Red Sea parting, it clogged. Along came the full moon using a kind of magnetic energy to lift the water and the liberation occurred. I love that at the end of the story, if it is really if it is really over, is menstrual, seasonal, lunar. The meaning, don't get too big for your canals. It's like a 90-pound woman delivering a 14-pound baby. It hurts. The birth canal hurts. Think big? No. Think small. God's eye is on the sparrow. Why God would be that way, I don't know. I just know God thinks seasonally, regularly, and small. Amen. Well, so many different things came to uh, mind as I was reading this devotion, as they often do. Um, my first, one of my first thoughts was too big to fail. And um, definitely that um, ship was too big uh, and failed in the middle of the Suez Canal, causing so much, so many other problems. And that also made me think about um, our efforts on trying to change things or trying to impact the world. Sometimes we try to do these great, grand, magnificent things, and oftentimes it's just the smallest things that really matter the most. Um, I'm thinking about that as we come out of this pandemic and where the church is heading, um, churches in general, not just our church. Um, but where the church is heading and what it's doing. Not trying to do big, grand things or flashy things or um, that sort of thing, but just trying to make an impact in the world in many smaller, different ways that we can. Lots of things that this can think about. Um, God's eyes on the sparrow, on the small things. God knows even the littlest and smallest things. And um, God doesn't just look at the big flashy stuff. Hope you have a good day. I will talk to you again tomorrow.